My name is Tristan, and I'm one of the senior trainers here at Advent Master. Many people are wondering what it's like to be in a live, virtual, online GMAT class, especially considering the situation that we all find ourselves in with this global pandemic of COVID-19. Well, we've actually had many students actually be in both a live classroom class and a live online virtual class because we offer a free repeat policy. And the verdict has been unanimous. Our students are all saying that being in a live virtual online class is just as good as being in a classroom class. The reason that we like to keep our classes interactive, making sure that you still have plenty of opportunity to ask your questions directly to the instructor, either through a chat or through actually speaking on your microphone to the instructor. If we wanna have a little example of what it's like to be in this virtual class, Let's actually take a look at this GMAT question here. It asks, how many different positive integers are factors of 441? Many people might try and solve a question like this algebraically. If you do that, you're probably going to get nowhere very fast. With this, you actually want to use something we call prime factorization, which is something that's very useful on the GMAT. In fact, I will actually hazard to say that if you are not using prime factorization to answer around one quarter of all GMAT quant questions, then you're probably doing the quant section all wrong. It is that useful. It is used that frequently. So let's actually have a go with this. We start, of course, with our number 441. We want to break this number down into two numbers that are factors of 441. That might seem intimidating with a number like this because it's not even and not clearly divisible by any other major number. However, 441 is actually a number you should be very familiar with. I think it's very important for everybody to know all of their perfect squares up to 25 squared for this exact reason. 441 is 21 squared. So I can break down 441 into 21 times 21. It's a great idea to learn your perfect squares. You can break 21 down further into 3 times 7, and of course you do that for the other one 3 times 7. Multiply all these together, and you get our prime factorization of 3 squared times 7 squared. But this just gives you the prime factorization. The question is asking, how many positive integers are factors? How many regular factors does this question have? This is just the prime factorization. Now, we could actually figure out every single factor if we wanted to by multiplying our prime factors here together in different combinations, but we don't really want to do that. I just want to know how many of them there are. And there's a very simple way that we can do this. All we have to do is take the powers of our prime factors here, our powers, which are 2 and 2. We then add 1 to each of our powers. So it gets 2 plus 1 and 2 plus 1. And then we multiply them together. 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 1. Or 3 times 3, which gives us 9. 3 times 3 is 9. That is actually the correct answer for this question. There are nine numbers that are factors of 441. That really does work 100% of the time. You may be a bit confused, though. Factors normally come in pairs, and this is an odd number of factors. How could that possibly be? If factors are in pairs, and that's because they multiply together to give me that number, I should always have an even number of factors. But that's not always true if I have a perfect square. 21 is a factor of 441. It gets multiplied by itself, so it's not going to get double counted. In fact, that's true of all perfect squares. They will always have an odd number of factors. And if you remember that, and you have very little time to answer this question, you know the answer must be either C or D, because they're odd numbers, and 441 
was a perfect square. A small example of what it's like to be in an Advent Master live virtual class. Of course, if this were a live virtual class, you'd be able to ask me questions about all the various different things that you didn't understand, and that will enhance your learning. If you like this, come check us out at adventmaster.com. You'll find the link in the description. Join one of our free classes and see what GMAT Mastery and skills-based training is all about. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in class.